testing. I think it's because I was waiting, but I'm testing out a new live stream drawing setup, and I've been working on a Halloween comic. Normally, I do my web comic that I post to my site, and it's just about something that happened in my day. But a few years back, just for fun, I did one through the entire month, well, through half of the month of October, that was just Halloween themed, something that had, it was completely made up. And now I'm doing that again this year for Halloween and trying a story that has aliens. And since it's Halloween based, I was gonna listen to a old time radio story that's from suspense, that's kind of to, you know, add to the mood. So I'm gonna be listening to this and drawing. And also, I got this new setup here. Why is that not hooked up? Why is it not updating? Oh, there it did. What the hell's going on? All right, I'll try this again. Just blink, all of a sudden, boom! Sitting here drawing the whole time and nothing's happening. Woman they were talking about on the radio. Oh, she can't help us. She does. She's sick. What good does that do the people who get chopped up with a meat cleaver? Meat cleaver? The laws were made before the doctors knew very much about the human mind. I still don't know much. Hmm. Oh, I can see what it is. There's a roadblock up ahead. What's happened? I don't know. Cops all over the road. David, so they've been chasing me and Mary Joy for the laser gun. Up, officer? Uh, just to check up, folks. Uh, anything in the back seat? Only the blanket and the lunchbox. We went on a picnic. Yes, ma'am. Seen any hitchhikers? No, just traffic. Okay, move right along, please. Are you looking for the crazy woman? Move it along, let's go. <laughs> Are you looking for the crazy woman? Yeah, ma'am. He's busy. Uh, I think I start every conversation with that. Hi, are you looking for the crazy woman? For the escaped insane woman who is somewhere on the island. She is described as tall, broad-shouldered, gray-haired, and rather heavy. She may still be armed with the cleaver. One hundred men are searching the area, and they're prepared to shoot on sight. Here's another bulletin on the case, which just came in. Just a few minutes ago, the decapitated bodies of an elderly man and woman were found oh, by police near Central I like that Central leg's too long. Uh, this will get us out of that traffic. The bodies of an elderly couple have just been found in their car near Center Marriages on a lonely, tarred road. Police are certain they were killed by Damn, Nellie Goller, the insane woman now at large. Give it a little bit more kick. Of the area are warned not to open their doors to strangers. Motors okay, there's one alien. Lonely roads and not to pick up any hitchhikers. Um, All persons are asked to be on the lookout for this woman. You gotta have the Here's other the one park in the order. Gotta turn that off, darling. I thought you wanted to hear it. Oh, well, that's enough. He's believed it. to be armed right. with the meat cleaver. This shortcut will save us a lot of time. You turned meat off the cleaver. highway. I just love that it's a meat cleaver. We've come over a mile already. Save us a lot of time. But David, didn't you hear what the radio said about staying off lonely roads? Well, we only have to go across the other highway. It won't take long. You sure? Of course. We go past Santa Marches, then take the left road and come out right by the highway. Didn't bridge. take the left road. Santa I... Marches is where she just okay. killed those two people. So my Cary Grant apparently sounds oh, like... What can happen to us while we're driving? Uh, the, the grandmother from on Golden Pond. They'll catch you. Oh. It's just a storm. Now, come on, quiet down, you jumpy. Oh, you jumpy. Really... Or it sounds like Matt Berry. David. What? The gas gauge says empty. <laughs> well, there's still a couple of gallons left. Don't be point. jumpy. How long has it said empty? Don't know. Uh, I'll get gas when we get across to the other highway. David, I'm scared. Relax, honey. Rain and wind always make you nervous as a cat. Breaking wind? I wish we'd stayed on the highway. If I'd known you'd act like this, I would have. Well, it's not my fault. Well, it's not mine either. Well, whose Maybe fault is it? Just trying to see through this storm. All right, so those are the two aliens running after them. After us, I should say. So now I can make the word bubble going to them. I can hardly see ahead, even in the headlights. Uh, running, running, running. There's something ahead. Don't stop, David. Oh, it's only a sign. David, and then the woman could be around here. I want to show up us want to know where clearly I trying to find I'm a place to run into. Let's see. 
Send the Marge that way. Now we'll take this road. Let's see. Send her Marge. Over here. This must be the road where she killed those people. <laughs> Dorothy, please. Sorry. Um... So jumpy. Turn on the radio. Oops. Sorry, I'm messing with the laptop here for a sec. Oh, this right? is a desolate place. We haven't even passed a house yet. There it is. Okay. Miles of woods on both sides of it. It's so dark, we couldn't have seen one if it were there. This rain seems to be getting worse. Now, where was I? David, I'm just sure Drawing this is the road us, where that woman running away. Okay. okay, so that's why the police had a roadblock by this road. I'm going to be saying in I here quick. I'll zoom in so I not necessarily where we are. Draw it at a better size. Oh, David, what's the matter? Already made oh, the neck too fine. big. What a place to run out of gas. Oh no, David, you mean we're stuck here? Yeah, I'm afraid so. For the time being, anyway. Also, this is the funny thing about me putting a camera right here. Um, I have a tendency to make strange faces when I'm drawing faces because I'm trying to emulate them. Did you hear something? David, I don't know. I don't know what I'm scared. Oh, turn off the headlights, please. Why? She'll see us if you don't. We won't see her if I do. Please, David, turn them off. Oops, oh, I like that line. Dorothy, don't let this silly thing get the better of you. Oh. I bet you they're going to run into the insane woman with the meat cleaver. Look at the headlights. Poking into darkness, nothing but wet bushes and trees. Rain falling. Please, David. Oh, all right. There, now they're off. You feel better sitting in the dark? <sighs> mm. oh, it's going to make me drawing more extreme, but... Looked silly. It looked like I was doing the splits. Look, Dorothy, there's no sense sitting here all night. It's only a few minutes past ten o'clock. Ten o'clock. There might be a house or something. You're there. not going to leave me here. I won't let you go. But Dorothy, we can't sit here in the middle of nowhere for the rest of the night. We're safer here than out there. David, she's probably hiding in the woods. She's just waiting for a chance to kill us. Come on, Dorothy. Why should she be right Why would they instant? Yeah, again? exactly. Why would they be right there? Of course, this is a radio story that is about that exact same subject. All right. All right. Whatever. Lock the doors from the inside. Why? What is it? Now she can't get in here. Uh, let's see. She's this nowhere near. Don't be mad at I'm going to put the door that we're going I'm into so there. If she's out there, she can easily smash uh, the windows. Oh, don't scare me anymore. I know I'm acting silly. I'm I can't do the word cloud so I know where I can and can't to draw stuff in the background. Put your head on my shoulder. Put your head on my shoulder. Hold it in your eye. Make you feel better. Isn't there some popular music? Yeah. All right, now I'm going to draw Mary Joy running with me. Long Island Mental Hospital. Rain and darkness are hampering the search. Over 100 police are combing the wooded area near Center Marriages. It was near there that an elderly couple were butchered on a lonely, tarred road. In making her escape this morning, the mad woman killed a doctor, nurse, and... Oops. Let's leave it off for a while, huh? So quiet and lonely here. Wish it were morning. Look, Dorothy. I'll run up the road. There might be no, a house. No, no, David, Look, please. Look, Dorothy. David. Listen. Oops, too far. Did you hear that? I did. Why? I don't hear anything. Listen. There it is. No, I can't. It's a dog. A little dog barking. Oh, David. Oh, I guess it's only a lost dog. Or maybe there's a house nearby. Or the crazy woman. Or the crazy woman. Oh, David! She's out Something there! Something the back of the car! It's her! Is the door locked on your side? <laughs> yes. Well, what if she breaks the windows? She's got a cleaver. In that flash of lightning, I saw somebody. Is it the crazy woman? I can't tell. <laughs> She's lying on the road. Can you see her? 
So saying it? crazy woman could be a Dark good drinking it. game. Have to wait for the lightning. I saw her. She's getting up now. She'll kill us. She'll kill us. Let's show you some running she doing? wiggle lines. She must have been running. She didn't see the car and ran right oh, into Well, I just said running and they said running. Okay. We got that there. Now we need to add some background stuff. First, the door that we're running into. Get away from that window! Damn it, she's trying to get in the car. Look at that face! And Look at that face. Go away! Like an angel! Go away. It worked. She's staring at us. Give you a pinch. You. I'll shoot. David, she's coming back. Please don't leave me out here. Please. That woman will kill me. Wait. Please. Shut David, her. take your pipe. Hold Side it like a gun. The door. It'll look like a gun. Where is it? Where is it? In the club compartment. Here. Here it is. Here. Look. Ah. I've got a gun. Ah. I'm gonna shoot! Ah. She's backing away. Keep going! Before I start shooting! I don't need that. That was a pot. She's gone. Alright. She disappeared. And then I will I have it go that, that way. And maybe Can't show a little Where'd she wall go? to have it. She's out there though. Probably planning on how to get in this car. Show that it's a David, what are we going to do? Section there. She's the one I know. She didn't have a cleaver. She must have dropped a cleaver. Face is all twisted in the air. This is literally what it's like when I'm drawing. Uh, <laughs> I listen to an old time radio show and just make fun of it the whole time. I don't even know if I'm following the story. David. Oh, David. David, stop it. Oops, too far. Autolite is bringing you Mr. Cary Grant with Kathy Lewis and Jeanette Nolan in On a Country Road. Tonight's production in radio's outstanding theater of thrills. Suspense. Bum, bum, bum. Say, Wilcox. <laughs> car use. Go on, Wilcox. Well, we pointed out that the Autolite Stay Full has over three times the liquid reserve of batteries without Stay Full features. Amazing. Oh, that's not all, Senator, because we pointed out, too, that the Autolite Stay Full gives longer life. Seventy percent longer life, in fact. As proved by tests conducted according to SAE minimum life cycle standards. Uh, yeah. Then there's fiberglass retaining mats protecting every So now just random to prevent shedding and flaking and to stuff on a spaceship to throw in the background just to show like, hey, we're on a spaceship. Sensational, Senator. We got all but one vote. Why? Oh wait, no, they're on a submarine. No, a spaceship. Sorry, That's right. No, they're on a spaceship underwater, but they got there by a submarine in the previous. Three times a year in normal car use. So see your neighborhood Autolite battery dealer, and remember, you're always right with Autolite. And now Autolite brings back to our Hollywood soundstage anyway, Mr. Cary Grant in Elliot Lewis's matter. production of On a Country Road, a tale well calculated to keep you in suspense. suspense. Mm. Let me draw that line shorter. And in a few lines there to show that they're running quicker. The window. David, mm. she broke the window. Get away from there. Stay out of the car. I'm coming in. I that. can't stand it. Stay out of the car. Idea. I warn you. I've got a gun. You wouldn't shoot me. Go away. You're crazy. We know all about you. Yeah. I'm not the crazy woman. Believe me. Let me in. Don't do it, David. She's trying and to trick us. It's a shiny little floor. Please, I've been running in this awful storm. My car is stuck in the ditch back there. I should probably oh, show you the best entrance. I don't know. It seems like miles. I heard about the crazy woman on the going across the other side. Give it some depth. I'm afraid to stay in the depth. car alone. Let me in. No, David. Go back to your own car. No. Yeah. It's so dark and so lonely in this storm. I locked the 
the doors, but I was afraid I could see things and hear things in the darkness. I couldn't stand it anymore. I got out and I ran. It's the rain. Right. That's why I look like this. I'm not the crazy woman. God. Yeah, you don't sound like the crazy woman. Maybe she's just scared and exhausted. Let me in, please. Maybe she's Let just cuckoo. Oh, David, no, she's the one I know. This crazy woman had a cleaver. I'm not armed. The three of us will be safer together. No, she makes sense to me, Dorothy. We would be safer with one more. Person. All right, so now we're in this room. I'm going to have us in, slamming I'm the door. I'm going to unlock the door, Dorothy. David. Oh. All right. Get in. Oh. Make one move and I'll shoot you. Oh, it's... Oh, it's good to sit down. Oh. All right. Now, there's a blanket on the floor back there. Try and dry yourself off with it. Oh, the darkness and the rain. There's enough to drive me out of my mind. Well, just take it easy, lady. I ran and ran. All I could hear was feet chasing after me, hunting me. Do you live near here? Father out, near Restview. I used to live in Brooklyn. Restview is a mental hospital. I know. I'm used to the crazy people. But not a night in a lonely place like this. Not the kind who kill people. You, uh, you live at so Restview? I'm slamming the no. door shut. Just near there. David, we can't sit here not knowing. If we could get to a phone. A phone? Why? Call the police. Get some help. No! Don't do that. Why not? Why don't you want the police? Mm. Oh, I, I do. But you'd be killed. That's too close. Me, the woman. She'll kill him if he goes away from this car. Oh. There's that dog. You hear it? Somebody's out there. Well, there must be a house up ahead. Maybe it's barking to be let in. No. He senses somebody. There's somebody out there. Crazy woman's creeping around Oops. out there. Quick, let's get away. Look out, David. Let go of me. Huh? What are you trying to do? Start the car, oh, quick. I'm slamming we'll the door. Away. Let's We're put slam gas. there. Out, out of gas. I don't think we parked here for the fun of it, do you? Oh, such a Gosh, I can't draw an S all of a sudden. Gas. Stop barking. What does it mean? You can't just sit here. We gotta get away. Oh, I'm not a magician, lady. I can't make gas out of rain. Oh, you can't stay here the whole night. You no, hear me? Let go of me. There's nothing I can do. Try something, anything. Don't just sit there. She's scaring me, David. Stop. Yelling. Cut it out. Cut it out. You'll have us all in hysterics. All right. All right. Slam. Da, da, da. Look, I got it. Okay. And then I need to. What for? Put a what handle for? on the door, and then give maybe draw the door. So I, you I'm know what? I need to move right. that down. I didn't give but myself enough room on that. Because how am I going to draw the top of the door the if there's gun, already a word balloon there? So I'm going to select that drawing that I just did. I promise you. Why did it not move? Deselect. Please, I'll go. I promise. I can't. Wow. Settle. Don't you have to get out of the car? Come on. Move. A, there we go. I don't know why that didn't work a second ago. Oh, you're nice okay. people, aren't you? Move that there. Or do you want me to leave so you can shoot me? Is that it? Can erase that part and put a handle over the we door. We don't have a gun. It's only a pipe. Dorothy. Dorothy. A, pipe? a smoking pipe? Sorry. Then, then you're unarmed. Yes, Alright, so slam that? is there, and now I can draw the door. Eh, that's not I don't the perspective know of where the door would be. It would be Maybe like that. You two are more there we go. Than the crazy woman. I'll tell you what I think. Crazy. I think you're the crazy woman. The way you grabbed David when you wanted him to start the car. It's not I who is crazy, it is I who am mad. Why? Because. Do you think I'm dangerous? An old woman you took into your car, two of you, and you're afraid of me? Yeah, I mean... Of you. Now sit back in the seat and don't try anything. <sighs> All right, so I'm going to have Mary Joy talking David. here. I should draw that first, because I need to draw the talking. door slamming effect. Now is the time. The time for what? What are you going to do? You two are up to something. Oh, shut up! <laughs> My wife meant now is the time to go for help. I did not. 
I meant now is the time for us to escape. David, yeah, can't you see it? She's up the here one. so I can get at it. Oh, little... oh, stop it. Sit back in that Whoa, you too small. Got a gun? No, but I've got a knife. David! It's my jackknife, but it's sharp and strong, so don't try any tricks. All right. My jackknife. Watch me while that woman is out there. All you can Undo. do. Undo, come on. Undo. David, she can kill us like that old man and woman. She must have been on this same road. They were in their car, too. They must have let her in. We'll leave, then. See, I don't know if you're noticing, but I'm making the face. We'll, we'll stay close together. We'll be quiet. Anyone hiding in the woods won't hear us. Don't get out of the car, David. Oh, how will we find our way? It's too dark. We'll find our way. Look out there. The road's full of shadows. Get her out of the car, David. She wants to kill us. Kill us. Well, look, if you want to go, why don't you leave? We're going to stay here until some help comes. Oh, I'd be helpless, alone, if I had a gun or something. You're nice. Oh, why doesn't somebody come? Where are the police? I can't stand this. Nobody will come. There's no one. Okay. Who's one. So They're now that I have that, I can draw the talk I bubble sure so I can see what room I have for this thing. He wouldn't listen to me and stop for gas. I couldn't help it. I got lost. Oh, why don't you do something? Not just sit here waiting, waiting. Jeez. Do something before we're murdered. Are you <sighs> oh, oh, that made me snort. Right. Okay. I am going to do something. I'll go for help. That's it. Get help. David. It's in her hand. I saw it in the moonlight. It's all glittered. What is it? Your wife is hysterical. She, she was holding it. A long piece of broken glass, long and pointed. See? doesn't answer. She's just watching us. What is she waiting for? It's from the broken window. What are you waiting she got for? It. So what if I have it? I'm not going to sit here defenseless. She's going to attack us. Don't be silly. It was all right for you to have a knife. Why can't I be armed for whatever may come? Give me that broken glass. Yeah. Give it to you. You think I'm crazy? You couldn't protect us from anything. Oh. David, what are you doing? Why are you climbing over the seat? I'm going to underline that. I warn you. I'm through letting my wife be terrified. Give me that glass. And then just show that they're in a closed room. Oops. I am going to add. Gosh darn it. Galley G. Willikers. I'm going to add a little section there to show it's a bit of a claustrophobic room. We got that going on now. Kill me! Drop that glass. Erase the edges where I went off the border. You won't run crazy. You're trying to kill me. Like you were going to murder us? No, I wasn't. Don't let her get free. I can't hold her. She's strong. If you have a knife, then I'll have glass. David, David, hold her. <laughs> I'm not crazy. Ah! <laughs> oh, <laughs> No, my You're nice. David, you're nice. Uh, ah! <laughs> Love it. All right. Let's get one more scene where I'm going to discover that there are octopuses out in the in the water outside the ship. And I was trying to figure out if it's octopus or octopi. So I put octopuses. She was going to kill us. Which may be right. I just thought it was funny to say octopuses. There's some lights. A car is coming. Help's coming. Hey there, you in the car. Why are you parked here? It's the police. At last. We ran out of gas. The crazy one. What a night to run out of gas. You couldn't have picked a better spot. What with that woman running around loose? Officer. We want to tell you. A farmer up the road called and said his dog's been barking at something. We caught her. Uh, who'd you catch? The crazy woman. She, she's in the back seat, dead. What? It's not her. No. No, she's alive. Hurt bad, though. Uh, she was trying to kill us. Well, we'll get her to a hospital. You two had better come with me. We captured that crazy woman a half hour ago. I don't know who this lady is.
I mean, duh. Oi vey, come on. Planes and boats in 20 plants coast to coast. These include complete electrical systems. Oh yeah, I drew that head way too big. Let's fix that. Finest cars. With magic. Coils, voltage regulators, electric windshield wipers, wire and cable, starting motors. All engineered to fit together perfectly, mm. work together perfectly, because they're a there perfect team. So friends, don't accept electrical parts supposed to be as good I drew the head too big, so I changed the size and then moved it down. It still kind of looks weird. Yeah, it does. Redrawing it. Next week on we Suspense, full body for your Thanksgiving anyway. holiday listening, Mr. Ozzy Nelson and Mr. Harriet Hilliard. I need to have them to each other. As stars of going, and also, I'll have her gone. turning her head from where and she was before, come, so she'll be facing the other way. Heflin, It'll make Alan more Rand, sense, actually. Because she's going to have a look of surprise on her face like, what? Suspense is produced and directed by Elliot Lewis, with music composed by Lucian Morawack and conducted by Lud Gluskin. On a Country Road was written for Suspense by Walter Bazaar. And remember, next week on Suspense, Ozzy Nelson and Harriet Hilliard in Going, Going, Gone. Going, Going, Gone. You can buy Autolite Stay Full batteries, Autolite Standard Type or Resistor Type spark plugs, Autolite Electrical Parts at your neighborhood Autolite dealers. Switch to Autolite. Good night. This is CBS, the Columbia Broadcasting System. Bing bong. All right. Um, I'm almost finished here. I'm going to figure out how to draw the octopuses. I don't know. I was just going to do this for a half hour. I'm going to take a break, actually. So that Autolite is basically the stream. I'm going to stop my suspense. audio here so I can talk. I was going to do another auto light suspense thing. So, yeah, then I'm going to finish this up and then post it for tonight. But I just wanted to draw my daily comic while testing out this new setup here. I like this little flippy thing that I got here to go between the screens um, and draw in my comic. So there you go.